celebrity men is naive because their reality is artificial. You know what I'm saying? When you got a lot of money and a lot of fame, a lot of people are forcing themselves to like you, be around you. They're acting like you're funny and you're not. You see what I'm saying? Everybody just wants something from you. And they can, some people are good actors. All actors not on TV. You know what I'm saying? You got the most beautiful women on earth coming at you and willing to throw their body at you, even the ones that look innocent. You know, people are not what they seem to be. They got an ulterior motive. They see the best in you when you got money. When you're a celebrity, they see the best in you. You know, it's, it's on, this thing got levels all the way from first grade to to an Emmy's award. You know what I mean? It's all about popularity, um, material things, money, you know, status. So they living in a different world, you know, um, where they become naive. They started thinking people really act this way. They started thinking people really like them for them, especially if they never hit rock bottom and they never had hard times. So it's hard for them to choose. You know, sometimes it's an individual, a female that's smart enough to press the certain buttons to make, you know, make them think that she really care or like them. But she, nine times out of 10, she have an arterial motive as well. So it's sad that a lot of celebrity men are, and guys with money, are naive, you know, and a lot of them get for divorced and, you know, and they get cheated on by guys who have less money than them. Um, you, they, the women are bold now. They're telling you what they're doing. They're telling you that, they telling you that they don't, um, what they don't like. They're telling you how they, how they feel. They're telling you everything they do. They're telling you that they cheat. They don't care at this point because they know they're always going to have a, a sucker that's going um, to do what they say, suck their toenails, suck the dirt out of their toenails. You know, they're always going to have a sucker to lean back on and, and do everything they say because they're attracted to the girl. Guys have been, become more carnal-minded, you know what I'm saying? Everything is sex-driven, so they become more worshiping women bodies and stuff like that where they're not using their mind. They ain't got no backbone. They're scared to speak their mind because all a woman got to do is say, what you been hurt? What you been, um, what you a woman basher? What you don't like women? You know, so they use these techniques where you don't speak your mind about them or speak the truth about them. You just do what they say and try to please them and they'll throw you a bone, a token, a bone every now and then, a token, a token of appreciation with your sex. You know, or look good around you, make you look good out in public. Other than that, they don't really love you as a core. They don't love you agape. They're not really here for you for real. They just, they just around you to, temporarily because you boost their ego. You make them look good. You gonna give them a pretty baby. You got money. You got resources. But they're not really down for you like that because if you didn't have those things, they wouldn't be around you. So their, their involvement in your life is based on conditions. It's not based on who you are. You are, don't have nothing. Most of the time, you don't have nothing to do with the equation. At times, some do. You know, you have individuals out here that's a small portion that's real, but most of the world is Satan infested. You know what I'm saying? We, you know, most of the world, most of the world is devil infested. So, and that's what you, you know, that's what that's what's going on. It's devil infested, and when you're dealing with a devil infested world. You know, unfortunately, these are the things that take place in the devil infested world because it's a spiritual warfare out here and nothing is what it seems to be. This spiritual warfare is causing um, people to be naive and think that they're getting mad at people, but it's actual spirits. It's a, you know, we are spirits wrapped up in flesh. Some of our flesh is considered attractive. Some of our flesh is considered not attractive, but in reality, you know, it's all spirit. The spirit world made the physical world. So it's crazy, you know, everything is non, you know what I'm saying, it's non-physical, you know what I'm saying, all the way down to your phones, air, Wi-Fi. We got a lot of stuff that control the physical world that's not physical. You can't touch it. It's It's there, but you just can't text it. You can't, you can't touch it, but you know a lot of celebrities, man. It's um, 
you live in an artificial lifestyle. It's like Pleasantville slash the Matrix. So a lot of people, we you dream of that world of you know of being um, having a lot of money or fame or something. But then when you get it, you start feeling kind of once reality hits you, you like feel lonely because you can't know who's who. Everybody smiling at you, giving you their best foot, not because they really love you. Not because they down for you or care about who you are as a person. Now, they, people can see the best in you when you get certain things, but um, they can see the best in you when you get certain things, but they don't. Um, but they don't um, really like you because it's just they just forcing themselves. They so excited about your lifestyle. They don't care about you. They so excited about their li your lifestyle that they, you know, that they willing to. Um, look over a lot of your flaws, you know, but when people think they better than you or you, or they don't need you, they quick to look for something wrong in you. Their patience is low when they think they don't need you or if they don't think you're special in other people's eyes. You know what I'm saying? So you got a lot of male celebrities and NBA players and they all dealing with women that's saying they down for them and I really love him and this and that. And they, they'll, they'll cry, have you convinced, they have you convinced that they really love you know, they'll have you convinced that they really love them men. But they don't really love those men. They love their lifestyles. But anyway, I'm Alan Wims, the Rillionaire. The solution the solution to this is um you know, sometimes you gotta act like you don't have certain stuff or if you already famous or something, you know, if you can try to find somebody who don't know who you are, you know, a person who don't know you who you are, if it's possible. Um, because there's nothing worse than people forcing themselves to be around you. Hey, subscribe, like, check out the next video. Much love to you. I'm Alan Williams, the Rillionaire, A-W-R-T. OCIO stands for Outsourced Chief Investment Officer, or in plain English, Outsourced Investment Management. Choosing a strategic partner to handle the full or partial outsourcing of your organization's investment function is a big decision. Here are four questions you should consider before you sign on the dotted line. The right partner gives you as much control as you want and removes as much of the burden as you need. In most cases, the key decisions like your long-term goals and your strategic asset allocation remain with you. But manager selection and day-to-day -day risk management are taken off your plate. At Russell Investments, we know that every client is unique. Our goal is to literally function as an extension of your business. That's why each client gets a dedicated CIO, a dedicated COO, and a dedicated portfolio manager. This means we can help you with your strategy, handle your back office and reporting operations, and manage risk in your portfolio, being dynamic when market conditions provide compelling opportunities. You know, nowadays, you know the fellas, they be wearing the hoochie daddy shorts. They be taking all the